G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I've got. Oh, I'm going to do a project that I've wanted to do for like over a year, but I've just been a little bit nervous about doing it because it's such a big thing and it's going to be expensive to do and I don't want to stuff it up. Look at this. I've got a Lazy Susan. Yes. It's a pretty big one. Let me see if I can just flip it over. It's got this gorgeous curve on the edge. Now, the reason I chose this particular one, well, a couple of reasons. It's, it's a light timber, so that matches with my, with my house interior. And also, it's got this little lip here. Because I want to be able to pour resin into it, okay? So that's why I've got the... I looked around until I got one with a little lip. I do have another one without a lip, and I'm sure you could use it. Um, you would just have to, you know, put some tape around the edges so that your resin wouldn't all run away. But for the sake of this particular one, I wanted to get the little little lip. Now, what am I doing in it, you may ask? Well, ta-da! I want to do a Lazy Susan Scrabble board. I do, I do. You could do different games in it. Um, and I think it's just a great talking piece. You can have it on your dining room table or outdoor table and um, yes it could be a lazy Susan for putting all your food on and then of course you can play a game you can play a game of Scrabble afterwards now I chose this particular game because I liked the colors um, sort of a oceany bluey greenish kind of colors with just the white um, letters on it so that's that's the one I chose but there's there are lots of them okay that's I'll show you the box again that's it it's the one I chose right now oh, we don't need that now this is the board and as you can see it's a square board and I have <laughs> around lazy Susan now I am okay with cutting the corners off all right if, like I said, if you've got one that doesn't have the lip and you could just put the corners there, you could put tape on and, and cover it with resin, that's fine. But I wanted to do it this way. So what I've done is I got a plastic bowl and I just put it like this so that I could get the shape of my, my circle and then I marked it like that. And I did all four corners. So something that's got a similar curve like that, you know, so that you can follow that. So now, now I need to cut them out. Um, I was, um, I was, I was dreaming about it. You know how you, you think and think and think about things that you want to do with your resin. And I'm thinking it might be nice if I actually put, because I'm going to put um, a different color resin in here and here, but we'll go into that later. Um, it might be nice to actually have that little bit of color going all the way around. So I'm going to take off a little bit more. I don't, I don't look. I don't even know if um, I can cut this. And I don't think we need to seal it. You know how you have to seal paper and photos before you put them in resin. This is already. I think it's already sealed. Like it's shiny. So anyway, I'm just going to try it. Now I have no idea if I can cut this. Oh yes, I can. Yes, I can. So I'm just going to cut. Ta da! Cut like that. All right. Let's see if that fits. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the corners off and then I'm going to just um, just sort of have a play with it and see if I want to take any more off because now I've decided I do want to have a little bit of this 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 dark blue. See how the edge is dark blue? I want to put the dark blue in here as well. If that makes sense. So, But that was just a little guide as to where to actually cut. But yeah, I don't mind cutting the corners off. All right, so that's my corners gone. Now, let's see. So as you can see, it fits, it does fit perfectly, but I do want to have that little bit of um, blue all the way around. So what I, and what I mean by the blue, see how it's two different colors here? There's like a teal turquoise and then there's like a navy on the edge I want to carry this navy to the sides so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some resin I'm going to put some of this I think that's 
It's roughly, it's uh, deep azurite. It's like one of my favorite navy blues and it's by Art Tree Creations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of resin down first, just a really, really thin amount. Um, and I'm going to put that down. I don't want to put it too thick, otherwise the resin's going to ooze out and come over the top. So I've got to be really careful about that. And then I'm going to fill these sections in with the navy blue. All right. And then once that's done, we'll top coat it. Oh, oh, very excited. Very excited. All right. So let's have a little look here um, and see how much more I need to take off. But look, you you don't need to. If You, you, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to go there, a little bit more there, a little bit more there. But yeah, you don't have to take any more off. Totally up to you. No, I just want to keep that, keep that curve. So it's best if you can put something that's got a similar curve on there, just so that you've got something to follow, okay? And I'm going to trim that off. And again, cut on the inside of that black line so that you're not seeing the line. All right, so that's about as much there as I as I want, but I need to just trim that. So anyway, I'm going to go and take my time and just trim all of these off. Uh, I'm going to mix up my resin and uh, then I'll come back to you. Okay, so that's how it's going to sit. So there's a little gap there so I can put my resin in. Um, now I have mixed up my resin but not hold it over there it had to spill it so it kind of looks like you know the the double letter color the navy blue matches that so if you wanted to you could have I guess this is my second thought <laughs> is having the navy and this teal green and kind of pouring them like mixing them together to get that sort of a marbly look. I think that would look pretty as well. So let's move this out of the way for now. Keep it safe. And make sure that our board's nice and clean. Give it a blow. This, um, I actually use this for blowing out my moulds before I pour silicone in, but they're good for anything really um i think they're mainly for like cleaning keyboards or in your car or something like that you can also attach um it's rechargeable you can attach attach like a, a vacuum so you can actually vacuum with it as well but i just use it for blowing so that's it there and i've got a little foam brush i'm going to spread my resin with because like i said i don't want to make it really I don't want to make it very thick so it oozes out the side. So here we go. Here we go. It's a gorgeous color. Now I've got to be careful not to drip everywhere. Hey. So just a thin, thin amount first. And I thought the best option would be just to use my little brush like this, my little foam brush, just to spread it. I was going to glue it down, glue the board down. And then I thought, hmm, I might just, <laughs> I might as well just resin it down, hey. So what I'll have to do is, once I've finished spreading this, um, I'm going to weight it down. I'm going to go right to the edges though, so that I know I've got my edges covered. I'm going to have to weigh it down so that it, it doesn't float. Because things tend to like float, they're kind of hydroplane <laughs> over the top of, of things. Um, oh gosh, there's a hair. Of course, there's a hair. All right, so now we can go right up into that edge there. And I can turn it like so. Yay. All right, I'm, I'm hoping this works, you guys. I've been planning it in my head for so long, thinking about what I'm going to do with it. Get back to the edges there. If you go over, you can just wipe it off. But try... I'm sure you'd be a little bit more careful. You know, I'm always aware that I've got people watching me and saying, hurry up, hurry up. So uh, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Okay, push that in. I'm going to get it right into the edges there. But if I do go over any at all, I must have it on my gloves. I'll wipe it up with um, just a baby wipe if I've gone over. 
Now the, I'm just using the Platinum 360 Plus resin because it's a nice quick setting resin. It's a good thickness. It's just an overall, I think it's a good overall kind of resin to use for anything. I use it for my coasters, I use it for my blooms, coating things. Why is this taking me so long? <laughs> it's big! I thought I was done and then I've got all this to go still. Oh gosh. Feel free to fast forward. Get in there. Okay. So I've got a couple of um, like chopping boards that I'll put over the top of the Scrabble board and then weigh it down with some bottles of resin or paint or something just so it doesn't move. And I've got lots of these disposable sponges, so I'm not worried about having to wash it. I'm trying to clean all the resin out of my sponge. Not going to happen in this case. I usually, you know, reuse as much as I can, but I think this will just be a little bit too, too difficult to do. Okay, I think I'm back down to where I started from. Okay, now as long as I've got a little bit of resin, I'm hoping I've made my blue dark enough. I did use two big scoops, so hopefully it's dark enough that we're not going to see the board through it. Oh gosh. A little bit more just on the edges there. And if I have to mix up some more... So be it. I did uh, 100 grams of part A and 43 grams of part B. And I was hoping that would be enough. Just for a, a thin layer all over the, the base and then filling in those little areas on the side of the board. Which I'll have to be very careful about that I don't spill. I will change over to my little paper cups that I can pinch and make a spout just so that I'm more careful with it. I should hate to spill, hey. All right, so now I'm just making sure I've got an even coat. I wonder if I can squeeze that out. So I'm not wasting it. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Alrighty. Now I've got to spread that. <laughs> oh, gosh. I need another foam brush to spread it. It's all right. It'll, it'll, it'll spread. I mean, it'll, it'll ooze a little bit out the edges, but it, it should be fine. I'm just going to clean my gloves. And before I go any further, I'm going to grab a baby wipe. And just make sure I haven't got any over the edge. Probably need to do this a couple of times actually because I'm sure I will spill over the edge a little bit. I've gone over the edge a bit here. And then make sure I haven't got any on the side because I've probably got some on my gloves. All right, you guys. All right, all right, all right. Now, I'm going to take my gloves off. Uh, actually, no, I'll just clean them again with some alcohol. Make sure they're nice and clean. Let's give this just a really quick torch because I can see a few bubbles. Are they bubbles? Maybe not. Don't know what that is. It's not a bubble. A little dimple. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh gosh, what's that? It's a hair. Gosh. All right. Are you a hair as well? 
Try and get everything out of it. Oh, hairs, where are they coming from? Seriously. All right, let's do this, you guys. Give it a blow. Let's do this. Now, we're just going to pop it in. Pop it in. Pop it in. Oh, look, I've already got it on my hands. Clean that off. Actually, I will take my gloves off just for a minute while I position this. If I can get them off. Ah! Put them over there. Bear with me, bear with me. I don't want to stuff this up. All right, clean my hands again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to put it where I want to put it, like so. And we're going to push that down. You can see it's making like a little wave there as it's pushing out, which is fine. I knew it would do that. I didn't want to have so much in there that it pushed up and then over the top. So I don't want to do that. Make sure it's all pushed down. I should put my hand underneath here as well, just so that I can support it so it doesn't go tipping over. In the middle. There we go. All right. Oh, so far, so good, you guys. I'm doing it. I'm finally doing it. Okay, now I'm just going to check the distance between each little section there. Make sure that it's make sure that I'm happy with it. How's that looking? Might not look exactly, you know, even to you because you're looking at it on a slight angle. My phone's up there on my boom arm. It's on a slight sort of tip so that I can see through the screen if I need to. Um, okay, I think I think that's it. All right, so the next thing I need to do now is um, I'm going to put down... Oh, this is a bit... I don't want to leave any marks on it. I might put down like a plastic first. Let me get some plastic. All right, I've got piece of plastic is just a plastic bag that I use for my packaging when I send my molds out just put that on there and then I'll put my breadboard down is it gonna fit yeah, is it gonna fit yep yeah. cool <laughs> just okay so that's gonna go there Make sure it's not going to touch the resin. There's a couple of millimetres there. There's a couple of millimetres there. And then I'm going to weigh it down. Oh, this is pretty heavy. I've got some Elmer's glue all. So we'll put that there. Okay. How's that? I know you can't really see all that well, but anyway, that's going to go there to weigh it down. And hopefully it's not going to move. All right, let me just check my edges now. Nothing's moved. Nothing's moved. All right, so now I've got some resin left, and I'm basically just going to fill in these these edges. So yes, <laughs> of course there's another hair. I don't know that I've got a food net big enough. Actually, actually, it probably doesn't really need to be that careful on this particular layer because I will be doing a, a clear top coat later so and I, I haven't decided yet if I want the clear top coat to go over over this because if it goes over this then it's gonna have to go over the sides and because it's sloping it's gonna have to kind of go down there as well so I don't know we'll just see what it looks like after I've done this eh? so I'm just gonna pop some of my blue in there and I'm going to pinch it and very 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 careful I'm just going to run some in there like that phew like so in there <laughs> oh god 
gosh, this is nerve wracking. If you didn't want to have like a glossy mica powder kind of a look, which is what I'm going to get, um, you know, you could just do a pigment paste and just like a matte color, whereas I've gone for like a gloss. Okay, that's done. A little bit more. But yeah, like I said, you know, you, you can have your corners coming right up. You don't have to do what I've done. I just thought it would look nicer if it was, you know, the same blue ring all the way around. But that was just my choice. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of resin in there. And a little bit in there. Make sure I don't get it onto my board. Mm, you need a little bit more in there. Careful not to drip. I'll just scrape that out. I hope I made up enough resin. I may need to make up a little bit more, which which will be fine. It's not going to be a drama. Just to top up these side little panels. But I just wanted to get it in and stuck down. So <laughs> that was the that was going to be my hardest thing. Just how to how to do it. And I'm going to push that up to the edges. I'm not going to touch the edges. I'm going to kind of just push the resin towards the edges there. And resin being self leveling, you know, it's going to do its own thing. It's going to find its own levels. I just don't want to overfill it. In case I decide that I'm not going to pour clear right over this timber um, and then I need a little bit of room within that lip there to pour my clear. Might have enough. Might. So this is going to take me a little while. I'm just going to push the resin into the edges here. Like so. All right, I'll put you on fast forward because otherwise it's going to take a long time. And uh, I will see you very soon. Look, you guys, it's ready. It's ready for its top coat. Yay! <laughs> I took the, the board off and the bottles of glue, put an extra bottle of glue on just to be on the safe side. And it is ready. I am using the Let's Resin 4 Hour Fast Cure um, just because it's a bit cold in my studio in winter here we go and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get in a mean blush some of the other resins they really don't like being cold um, and they'll give me an a mean blush over the top which is kind of like an oil slick I'm not going to use all that just yet look <laughs> I can go back to my acrylic pouring days and tilt <laughs> Oh gosh, so it is a pretty thick resin. Um, it's a it's a one to one. Gosh, but not lift it. Might not be in the same spot that I just picked it up from. Um, yeah, it's it's a pretty thick resin. It's a one to one, 
and I've got about 300 grams here. I'm just going to spread it. I did pop it in my uh, vacuum chamber just to get the bubbles out because obviously being a top coat I want it nice and crystal clear. And because it's such a thick resin it really doesn't want to spread all that well by itself. So we'll just give it a bit of a helping hand. Trying not to get bubbles into it. There's one just there I can see but I should be able to get that out. So yeah I made up 300 grams. Um, I just didn't want to put it all on at once, <laughs> just in case it overflowed. I'd rather do this and, you know, add a bit more rather than putting on too much and it all overflows. But I think it will be fine. Might even need a bit more. But I only need a thin, thin layer. You know, I haven't got much room in, in here now um, since I've put the board in. Okay, let's pop a little bit more on. Round we go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so great being out on my table outside on my deck. Just uh, don't have resin in direct sunlight because it can yellow over time. Now with the Let's Resin resin, if you've used it, you will have noticed that it has an ever so slight blue hue to it. Uh, and that's just to help with any resin sort of getting that yellowy tinge over time. They've preamped that and put a tiny, tiny little bit of blue in it. You can't see it like this. Um, the only time you can really see it is when it's in its bottles, you know, in its big deep bottles. You can kind of see a bit of a blue hue, but um, it's certainly not a problem when you're when you're using it like this, or you're putting it, mixing it with mica powders. I haven't found any problem with it anyway. Okay, it looks as if I'm going to be able to use all of this that I've mixed up and maybe even a little bit more. I will get my heat gun out just to heat it a little bit because like I said it's it's winter here in Queensland Australia. It's only 22 degrees, uh, 23 degrees in my studio at the moment. It's um, about 6 p.m. almost 6 p.m. so it's getting dark and it's cooling down a bit. So the resin is cooling down and thickening as well like honey does you know when your honey's cold it's really thick and gluggy and then when it's warm it thins out same with resin i'm just going to be careful around these little edges here don't want to overflow onto my timber this is just a little silicone brush So you get the general idea, just carefully dragging that around. Oh gosh, excuse the noise. Around we go. Almost there. Might have gone up the edge there just a touch. I'm trying to be careful not to get it to go up over onto my timber if you do it's no drama you could just get a baby wipe and wipe it off no biggie just kind of pushing the resin here so it makes a bit of a wave and the wave goes over to the side how's that looking oops there's a bit more here Almost there, almost there. Just need a bit more over here on this little edge. And then I'll get the heat gun out and just thin it out a little bit. And see if it wants to just spread a little bit better. You can see how thick it is. I actually want to try this 4-hour resin with my 3D Bloom No Weight. 
you know how I've been doing that because this is, I think it's thicker than the actual Let's Resin regular one. Um, and I've been getting really nice blooms with that, just mixing and blooming. So without waiting, without taking temperatures. So I think I'll, I'll do that. That'll be coming up soon. So keep your eye open for that video. Okay. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I've got good coverage there. All right, let's just get the heat gun out. Just very carefully get some heat into this. And there's a bit there that I've missed. So this is just heating the resin and allowing it to kind of flow a bit better. And uh, also it's popping bubbles. I can see little bubbles popping on the surface there. Obviously you don't want to get it too hot. There's a little bubble in there that I'm going to have to go, go fishing for. So digging it out. I've only got my heat gun on low. I've only got me um, low and high on this particular heat gun, the XG1. It's just got the two levels, so it's just on low. And there's something in there. If you look across the resin, like into your light, you'll be able to see if there's anything floating on top of it. And it's going to be really tricky. <laughs> it's going to be really tricky. There's a bubble coming out there. Look at that. It's going to be really tricky not to um, get any dust or anything on it overnight. Look at it go! The bubbles coming out there. I don't know what's going on there. Obviously a little, a little gap there where the resin hasn't gone all the way in. Give it a light little torch looking amazing you guys I'm not going to put any more resin onto this I think it's got plenty but there is a hair or something in there get that out so basically now I'm just going to go in and have a little look make sure that it's up against the edges everywhere and I'm just going to run my little toothpick around there just to make sure that we're getting good contact which we're not just here I can get any more out of this cup. Just a little bit there. So anyway, I won't bore you with um, watching me just finishing this off. It's pretty much done. Um, I'm just going to go and make sure that it's touching the edge here all the way around. And uh, make sure there's no bubbles anywhere. There's no bits of fluff anywhere. Um, and then that'll be it. Another something. This little bit here is a bit higher. A bit of board there. We'll just put some resin over that. Make sure it's covered. Okay, all right. Oh, there's a bit there I can see as well. It's not up to the edge. <laughs> just what I thought I was done. Okay, so anyway, uh, it's it's almost almost there. I will just sort this out. A little bit more heat just on that side there, just to heat that resin and let it melt into the side. And go all the way around and just melt it into the side a little bit. Because heating your resin will make it thin. And it'll go, it'll be thin, it'll just run into the edge there, which is what I'm wanting. And there's something else in it there. All right, you guys, that's it. Um, I, <laughs> there's nothing to unmold. <laughs> there's nothing to unmold. But tomorrow, once it's cured, um, I'll take it outside. I'll put it on my deck outside. Hopefully a kookaburra won't land on it because they're very interested in whatever I'm doing out there on the deck. Sometimes when I put a coaster down, they'll try and pick it up and fly off with it. Uh, they won't be able to pick this up and fly off with it. So, all right, that's it. Leave it at that. Um, I'll try and cover it with something and just to stop any bits of dust and things falling into it. But I will come back and, and check on it every few minutes just to make sure that it's okay. 
Yay! It's looking amazing. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.